everyone and welcome to episode 13 of my twice series and today is all about eyes wide open so twice has been on a roll lately with the quality of the album and it's been so good and this one is no different in fact this pushes the boundary towards even more love for me i feel like Eyes Wide Open is their best album they ever put out. In fact, it is my number one, my number one album and also my number one song overall are all in this album because this is so good. Um, I talked previously about the transition they made with the music and going towards a more tr mature sound. I feel like more and more, was already a glimpse into that macho twice sound, but eyes wide open, that is the new twice. And I love everything they showcased here. It the song choices, the production, the girls did so well. Like, oh, there's so many great moments in this album, so many classic. I personally feel like they really came in with a vengeance like oh this album I don't even know how to describe it in two words but I just want to say this was a masterpiece and I loved it now when it comes to my favorite I have six songs that I feel like are the star of this project so this first part is going to be about my top six to fourth and the next part is going to be about my holy trinity now my number six is queen <laughs>
that was my sixth favorite queen and with this song came a change in my bias line so originally i biased nyan so strongly and then with last album i fell in love with you but now <laughs> now this album was the album where i fell in love with diane I believe that by the end of Twice's discography journey, I'm going to be loving and biasing all of them. But for now, oh my God, Diane. She's so good. I feel like the change in vibe and themes and songs, it really favored some of the members. You know, it's not that they were not good before, but because the style that they are going for now it really suits some of them a little bit more than others. Like, it suits all of Twice, but it's like it put a shine on some members. Like, Diane feel like she just became, she went from a queen to a goddess. Now she is just a goddess. Yes, I <laughs> feel like now I have a second celebrity crush now because... Diane is amazing. This album, she convinces she what? <laughs> I couldn't even speak properly. <clears throat> Let me gather my energy and stop fine girling for a moment. So what I wanna say is because of the change in vibes with twice, I feel like it really suited Diane and a couple of other members that I will mention later on. But Diane is now like this huge presence for me in Twice's music. And this album just made me fall in love with her. I love her demeanor. I love her charisma. And she has this bossy presence. And with the type of music they're going for now, it's really making all that come out. And it just brings out the best in her, in my personal opinion. Um, Queen is such a great song. I love the energy. I love the vibe. I really enjoy the chorus. I feel like it's so memorable. And it's just a good time. Number five is Behind the Mask.
This was my fifth favorite Behind the Mask, which is actually the last song on the album. And I love how they finish this album. It's so eventful with so many different type of vibe that I feel like this was a perfect way to end things. It's so good. And it just feels like it just leaves that lasting impression that even when you're done listening to the album, it's like you are still listening to it. Does this even make sense? Hopefully it does. But I really love this song. It's so good. And I just... Mm, 10 over 10. Now, my number four in this album is I Can Stop Me. That was my fourth favorite 
I can't stop me. I love the song so much. Now, Behind the Max was the last one on the album. I Can't Stop Me is actually what opens the album. And I love it so much because they come in right away with energy. I love the song. It's fun. It makes you feel like you are behind a motorcycle and just going crazy on a circuit. That is very weird, right? But... <laughs> That's exactly how it makes me feel. I love it. It's fun. It's catchy. It's so good. I love the energy the girls came in with. And I just love how they play around with their voices. And they just made the song a thousand times better. So I really, really love that. Let me know in the comments if you can guess what my number one is going to end up being. Have I already mentioned your favorite from this particular album or maybe it's yet to come. Also, if you want more twice, I have a dedicated playlist just for them that you can check out. But in the meantime, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll talk to you very, very soon with the next part.